Hi, Annabelle. All right, I'm going to do your hour of healing now, okay? <laughs> hour of power. So we're going to focus on, you have a special relationship with these Zeta aliens, and you were informed about it. Um, alien um, astral baby that you'd had um, so I'm just going to explore and see how everything's looking I provided 15 minutes of healing for you some weeks ago and you're still having you're still having some different experiences and um, went and visited the doctor and now came down with gastritis so let's see what's going on okay I'm supposed to indicate something here. So I'm going to be doing some spiritual healing work. Um, I'll be offering this on my website soon. But work where I'm doing a spiritual healing with my friend Joe. So we're both going to journey, do distance journey healing at the exact same time. And so Joe is also distance healing Annabelle while I also am doing it at the same time. So we'll, um, I might run into him or there's some wisdom about what he's up to or anything like that. Um, so this way you're going to get two healers instead of one. So I'm going to just relax now and I'm going to start focusing on you, okay, Annabelle? So Joe's already started as well. I'm supposed to close my eyes here and then I'm actually supposed to not use my third eye. I'm just supposed to feel or sense right now. So um, basically there's a liquid that is going down of a scene like this. It's just sort of going down. You are next to a rock or cliff, but it seems like you're in the rock itself while also just, just connected to it, just laying back on it. But it's like you're stuck on it or stuck into it. They say this is the appropriate way to heal your body at this time. They're showing me you quickly being submerged into the rock and the rock having sort of a revolving door that's going very quickly. But it's almost like you're sucked onto the other side of the rock. I, it hasn't stopped spinning, so I don't know. I'm just watching and observing. I'm also seeing all of this taking place within an orb of, of wisdom. There's also sort of a rocket of energy that is just blasting off as I'm looking at this orb of wisdom from the outside. Everything that was taking place on the inside. There's a rocket going through this sort of scene. It's dark everywhere and I'm just looking at a glowing orb right now with a rocket that just blasted off. They're asking me if I know who that is. They're <laughs> saying, it just looked like a rocket to me, but... There's some energy actively involved. We're okay. I need to pay attention here. <laughs> Again, there's this odd sensation as though I am drifting off to sleep and I am going somewhere, but I feel like I'm falling downward instead of going upward. And the feeling of going down, I'm starting to see there's a tiny little pinprick of light way up there. But I'm sort of falling asleep like I'm going downward. Like the light is sort of going up, but it was never there to begin with. It's just a pinpoint of light. I'm laying down. I'm experiencing a very soft touch. I'm experiencing very soft touches. I'm not seeing anything at all. I'm only experiencing soft touches. There's no indication of, of the intent to be harming towards you at all. There's a real bond and connectedness between you both. You and this other race of beings. It's so bonded that it's almost as if you guys, you are one of them. Even though you're human, it's so bonded as though you are one of them. I can't separate between you and them or them and you. I'm not able to see. I'm only able to experience the softness of the touch and the sensation of being at a distance, although being nowhere, uh, uh, having I've not gone anywhere at all, but yet I feel like I'm at a distance and is a slumbering sort of state of experience. I feel love in my heart. I feel joyful. I feel harmonized. I feel like I understand. I feel like I'm connected. I feel love. The beings are starting to show their faces better. There's uh, quite a few of them here. I'm telling you, these ones, they look like they have more of a jawline uh, than I've seen. And 
they can actually, they can almost create a smile in their thin line here. And they also have these black eyes, but it seems more like brainy sort of here though. But it, there's still sort of the gray skin with black eyes, but there's something different about these ones. There's something purely loving about these ones. I feel at peace, I feel safe, I feel like I trust them. I'm separating from your consciousness and now I am my own consciousness looking at them and looking at the scene. So we get to know what I feel inside about this. They already know what I feel inside about this. This is important work for me because I have some sensitivity about the work that is done in astral that as a human being I see I see as not okay, but there's something I'm missing about this. And so it's important that we examine it for healing you, but then also for expanding the human perception. Um, there's more to, to it than this. When I was connected with you, I felt so balanced, so much harmony. I trusted, I felt, I felt a real love and affectionate um, connection with these creations that vibrate much like you do. Even though you're a human being, they're sort of of a different consciousness, there's quite a blending of similarity there. When I look at them, I see, I see question marks. I see a need for an understanding of, of uh, I don't feel the same version of love is the only way I can define it. It's not as if I'm not open to it. I'm just not sure about that right now. That's the only way I can define it. They ask, well, what would help you become sure about that? Just to know that they know what love feels like and to know that they know what pain can feel like and to know the value of what you do in astral can be experienced in physical to ensure that they know that they can create terrible harm in some people who are very sensitive to what is taking place in astral. They're asking if I know what is taking place in astral and I say, I know. I know what takes place. I've seen it. Hmm. They say, you've seen it done to yourself. They say, I felt it done to myself when my eyes were closed. They ask who harmed you and I say it was of a different reflection but something similar. Hmm. So we are looking into each other's eyes and they're helping, they're creating a glow of energy to help me know that I'm safe with them, that they understand. They're showing me that they know what tears look like and they understand tears are reflections of emotion. They say, do you know if it is the emotion of grief or sadness or the emotion of love? There's quite a softening though and a comforting sensation. So they're showing me as myself, actually in a state of like a delivery room of some kind. And standing up and understanding uh, what this gift is or the balance or rejoice of sharing an energetic gift from one species to another or blending species together. That's the only way you could define this image. I'm telling them that that I'm not comfortable. I don't it is not I do not feel it is my calling to share in this experience with you. It is my calling to help Annabelle 
and then to also learn something from this interaction as well. Mm. They're showing me very gruesome images. One is a really thin wire going straight into the eye, right into the black part of the eye. And they're showing me the ability to move different parts of the astral body in order to even remove what would be a brain, astral brain. They're showing me a room where there's different parts of a human being that are completely taken apart, but it's all an astral body. And they're examining the re reactions to different uh, some I don't know I'm saying I put things together that were taken apart I put them back together in order to create the balance that is appropriate in order to experience joy tears that are reflections of love not tears that are reflection of pain I take the brain and I put it back into the astral body. I say no and I remove this long thin wire. I say that wire makes me want to cry in grief and sadness. Then they touch that tear and they examine it. It's just a pause. There's something else here. It's sort of like a crowding sensation. But I don't feel concern at all. I feel like I understand and I don't feel fear either. I feel like I feel like communication helps to create understanding and it doesn't have to be emotional it doesn't have to be full of feelings we can actually interact they could share their thoughts or images with me and I can still understand enough to share what my opinion is on it without feeling any other emotions associated with that Again, I'm saying it is time to heal Annabelle, unless there's something else here. So I'm showing them my palm right now. Hmm. I don't know why, but I'm smiling, I'm giggling, and I'm creating light within my palm. And I'm excited to share this energy of love with their palm. I ask to please come close so I can share this love with you. That comes from my ha hand and it goes into your hand. I look into the eyes and then I share pure love in this palm. And I'm igniting energy in this palm. And now we are sharing love of energy between our species. I share with you, I share with everybody. So I'm also simultaneously creating an echo of the sensation what I share with one, I share with everybody. And I'm sharing pure human love and joy because we are balanced or we have an understanding now. And now too, I also have an understanding or comprehension of your perspective as well, Annabelle. So this is important. So I'm just doing this right now. I, I say, I speak, I say you deserve to feel love too. So I gaze into the eyes and share love.
I'm telling you, it's really a lot of intense energy. No, oh, it's really positive. This is the most important thing I could do here. I have to create this energy balance, and then I can do the energy balance on you. Even as much as we can put our heads together and heal you together. So I'm exploring that with them. They're acknowledging that I just cried. So I'm sharing that that was love that created the tear. I was sharing out many images of love that move me and my heart. And I share images, too, of painful memories that were also, that I've learned from, that I'm healing from. So I share both sides in order to help share what it is to be human, right? So. But these are warmer in their demeanor, they're warmer. And some of them are, don't feel very good to me, right? So these ones are warmer. And that's what I, I appreciate, this sort of warmth about them. Everything is relaxing or quieting. I'm feeling relaxed. Um, I'm ready to work with, I'm ready to work on you. It feels like we're going to share energy or our smart or our different styles on you together. I'm not exactly sure yet though, but it was sort of a bonding experience and it's for a reason, you know? So let's see what happens here. So my spirit guides say, so you trust them? And I say, well, I still don't know yet. <laughs> I definitely feel love within my heart and do not feel any need to be not loving, I guess. Like, how far can you expand trust? Do I want to have an astral baby with them? I don't think we're on that page yet. <laughs> but that doesn't mean it's not correct for somebody whose soul has incarnated and understands and knows the experience and is ready for that experience or you know it's the right time and and all that there's more to it than that i'm just learning about the interaction learning about the experience the soul choices the soul connections and then doing the right thing to create the right balance of energy in order to heal you so i'm asking i'm speaking with them and talking to them about you and my goals with you okay There's just a pause, there's an interaction, there is a contemplation. We are, there. nothing has been decided or we are not, we have not actively made a decision of how we will heal you just yet. It has not come to clarity just yet. So I'm just being patient right now. There's something in the way because my style, my healing style is I may need to just completely disconnect from them. I'm not, I'm not completely sure here. I'm showing them something. 
I'm saying blend with me and let us heal Annabelle together. I'm creating a spiral spin of energy and I'm using all of the loving energy, all of the thoughts and dreams that I shared and I'm spiraling and I'm blending all of our energies together and in oneness as a group of like 10 or so out of the center of the spiral of energy that's going very fast there's two hands just like this like I shared with them and we are beaming blasting light from them onto you you are sort of levitated or on a bed of some kind so we're just sharing lots of light and energy with you in order to heal you there is an interaction with heaven and heaven then we're working in alignment in order to create balance and proper alignment and harmony to make your body feel better okay there we are moving in over to you and I'm spinning very fast and I'm filling you with heavenly light but we're all in this together I'm not sure if they're just wanting to experience this version of healing or what but um, they're I'm in charge I guess so I'm just spinning really fast their energies are blended and then um, I'm working with heaven in order to create light that heals you okay and there's say there's an interaction of the tears that are a reflection of love so we're doing this right now I'm doing a work with heaven I'm communicating I'm sharing love I can't really speak right now I'm just I'm in a trance state I'm focusing at lots of light you've been lifted up to heaven right now and I'm just focusing on channeling lots of love and energy to create the right harmony and balance while simultaneously there's like 10 other minds or so in my mind like we're all blended in oneness and then I'm sharing with you the same love that I shared with them in order to create the effect that heals you, okay? So I'm just concentrating right now. There's an even bigger spiral that is taking place around you. You're being lifted up into light, heaven understands. There's a connection with all the words that I have shared and the energy I have shared. There's an understanding of what to do in order to heal you. I'm just watching what is a super fast spiral of light sort of transforming into a sphere of movement. You are in the center of it. There's an energy release coming out the feet. It's like all the energy that was pulled in your body just can't glop together and just push out the feet. They're focusing on the female womb area. This is where I left off before. They're showing me now just me and you in a space. You're levitating sort of on a table and I'm doing work in order to heal this properly. I was able to heal it, but it, I mean 15 minutes in the sort of it was just too expansive a job to do in 15 minutes, so. So, we are creating light, we are filling it with light and energy. I am using love and balance and harmony from this experience at the beginning of the video to create harmony and balance in your own body.
I'm focusing on your stomach as well, your sort of digestive region, and your female womb area. Light is pulling in both places. Light that will eat away infection, light that will heal and rebalance female reflection. Hand on stomach, hand on womb. Energy going in that is pure white light channeling from my hands and then super beacons of white light. I mean, the energy is insane right now. It just, language does not cut it. <laughs> I'm sharing images of freedom and, and joy and release and excitement. And I'm sharing it through an image I saw in another reading where I saw what are just a pack of like 20 horses just running as just so wild and so free across a prairie. And it just really was a reflection of such pure harmony and such balance when the horses were running free. There's something about that sensation of pure rejoice and pure happiness and pure joy and freedom. So I'm sharing that energy with your body, just that version of just absolute harmony and balance and freedom and happiness and joy. And then I'm also simultaneously sharing it with them too. So what I share with you, I also share with them. So they can, we are learning about love that creates tears, but love that heals of that caliber also this energy to heal you too. Alright, uh, so the next image I share is, is an image of dreams coming true. <sighs> something that you've always wanted, something you always wanted to experience. And then it actually becoming and manifesting as a part of your life, a real dream coming true. Almost like the impossible, and it's so purely loving. And the moment that it happens is the moment you fall to your knees and know <laughs> that everything is in perfect harmony and balance, that dreams really do come true. And so I'm sharing that healing energy with your body and then with them too. So this is pure love. This is pure love energy that I'm using in order to create perfect balance and harmony with your stomach and your female reflection and then with all of you, okay? with all of your body and then with all of their minds and experiences and understanding of what is a human experience of love so so let's see what else 
I'm examining this, the, where the stomach is, is just, if it's not, this part of the female reflection is just, I'm focusing more on that right now. There's sort of a, a, there's an opening here, and then a snake is coming out of the opening. I'm watching the snake slithering. I'm saying it is okay to allow the snake to slither and leave. I am giving this snake into heaven and transforming it in the light. They're showing me that this black hole has some whitish colored liquid. I am altering the sensation of gravity. I'm just pulling it up and out of you so there's droplets all over in the air. I'm allowing light to evaporate it. I'm putting my hands over top of this area and I'm just creating healing and balance specifically for your female reflection. This is really important. It's, this is, when we heal the sort of sexual identity, it, even if you think you're balanced here, most human beings need focus in this area and it heals uh, all, it does crazy healing for everything else. And so I'm just going to focus on this. They're showing just old energy is re just evaporating and sort of vacuuming out, evaporating in the light as it comes out. It looks like black, just dust coming up and out. I'm still focusing. I'm creating a lot of energy in here. I'm using red sort of energy, mother snake energy, since she's sort of a divine feminine reflection, but she's also a reflection of kundalini energy, and kundalini has a really high sexual vibration, and it's pure, and it's balanced, and it's spiritual, and it's really good for the female womb area. And so I'm focusing on this while I'm also simultaneously communicating with the others about se balanced sexuality and that sort of thing. They really do have, they really can feel things. They really can, they're making, under, they're understanding. They are understanding while I'm also doing this healing for you. They're sharing with me other images of their understanding of sexuality. And it's really, they're talking about balanced sexuality versus unbalanced sexuality. And so healing the sexual identity, you can't take sexuality from another human being. And then when you create, so you create an astral baby, right? What, what does that exactly mean? What is, what is the reflection of love in that interaction? 
as it pertains to being a human being versus as it pertains to being of their kind, right? So this is a really important exploration that we're doing right now to discuss balanced sexuality in the physical what is it in the astral though what is it what does it mean exactly and so we're sharing i'm sharing my understanding my energy and we're communicating about it while we're also sharing all kinds of love and balance and thank you-ness for you and your gift and and your um open-mindedness acceptance trust everything because that is part of balanced sexuality all of that and so they never took anything from you because you were in balance with their their vibration with their identity and so we're talking about this too so so i'm just focusing They're showing a picture, an image of you, and you're crying. You're in a state of action. It does look like giving birth. And you're shaking in the process, too. But you are not in pain or fear of any kind. You are... It just this this seems normal. This seems like a normal thing for some reasons. They're showing me a delivery of an of it's like an astral delivery or something. They're just showing me delivery from the female body. They're showing me even placenta. They're showing me this child was glowing when it was born. Purely glowing. They're showing me something about this. Something seems... I'm not sure how to describe it. Like the body's going back to sleep again, but... There was something missing in the whole full release of the whole birthing process. This is very strange to me, but I'm just going to go with it. I'm just going to continue to say as I see and then the way it makes me feel, okay? I see you're waking up um, having a normal day. The thing is... Um, I'm telling you the feeling is really beautiful right now. You wake up to have a normal day, well, in a, some other in a interdimensional space, there is absolutely a vibration of love for you, for this creation, for everything. That That is what they're saying. They're, they're showing me even what is a, what we would consider a birthday party. As for, for your first born, you know, your first year of life, there, but this would be the birth of this child, would be like a such a special celebration. They have, they do have a love and appreciation for creation. These beings are very are are loving. I mean, I'm telling you, they do feel loving. In a way that I'm, I haven't felt from them this version before. They're a little, they're a little bit different though than. They just seem to be a slightly a little bit different than your average gray alien or blue.
So there's another really loving um, interaction here. It's associated with um, the meaning of this to them. It's surprising because they truly are activating emotions of love. And this, they're showcasing th what would be like a woman going through pregnancy for nine months and being held by her partner and being nurtured and loved the entire time. Not even a single flicker of, of, in, of disrespect or not being in reverence or not considering this so sacred. And that's what they're saying about this bond of creation and gift from you to them. And it's very moving. It's very loving. It's there indicate this is important that it be indicated again that they loved you, they love you, and they treat you with that version of respect, that completely sacred, unwaveringly sacred version of respect and reverence and love of this interaction. It's really pleasant for me to experience it. It can be very, I, I'm i just very cautious, you know what I mean? And I gotta be, and I don't mean to be because some alien beings are, they don't have, some alien beings literally don't have emotions at all. And so for you to be emotional with them is not gonna make sense. I'm really moved by the fact that I can have the mode, an, a loving vibrational interaction with them and it has a lot of meaning. So it, this is really beautiful. This is really important that you know how much they love you and have loved you this whole time. And the, this whole thing is just a pure gift of love and creation and I mean, I, I don't know how else do I put it, but they just want that to be said over and over and over again. They want to make sure you know that. So now, now they're asking, can I take this version of their love for you and now place that in your female womb to heal you? So I'm creating all these memories of love, all these memories that are moving to me, but they want to use their memories that are moving to them about you to heal you with those. And I'm saying, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I think those are really beautiful memories. And they're showing me, um, again, tear that cries with love. So. Goodness, I'm telling you, it's really moving. It's extremely loving. And if you're a spiritual healer and you can channel that kind of love, it's <laughs> you can't fail. <laughs> oh, 
Holy smokes. <laughs> All right, I'm going to continue to see what's next, okay? Okay, there's a new image here. They show me they as in spirit, okay? Not your friends. There's an image of hands dragging a body from ocean um, across the beach and then just laying it out on the sand. And the body just, I don't know if it's waterlogged or what it is, but it looks really pale. I don't know if this person is alive or I don't, it hasn't come through yet. It's odd because I can't tell if it's male or female. The hair's long, but I don't... It, it looks like a female wearing male clothes, though. And the hair's blonde. This, this reflection was looking quite dead, and now is actually filling with revitalized and full of life. Whatever the ingestion was in the stomach or the the salt, like too much salt water or too much water logged or whatever, the life is totally in colors, totally returning to the skin, to the body, to the heart, to every part of the, I mean, the, I'm instantly like, yay, I'm alive, I'm active, I feel like I just woke up and I feel like I just ran across a rainbow and it just, my whole life changed, I, I feel awesome, I feel like a firecracker, I feel awesome. I went from being waterlogged, bloated, and dead to, I feel great. <laughs> Suddenly I've got all my color. I feel like I could spin. I could sing. I could dance. I could jump. I could do gymnastics. So, as that is taking place, there's an interaction with this version of you. Are you just, you're calm now and we're interacting. It's fascinating because you're you're definitely male, but you have kind of a female flicker about you. I don't know if it's the long hair or what, but and this version, I don't know if it's a past life or the face is extremely clear and the teeth are not particularly straight. The lips are, I don't know. He's got like a crooked nose, kind of crooked, but it's not an overly large nose. But the skin, like the jawline is a little long. Just something. He's not the most attractive man. <laughs> but there's, so that's why it's just some, I'm just looking, I'm inspecting his appearance. He's got a fringe here and the hair's blonde and it's sort of longer. It's sort of interesting because... Oh, what's that guy? He's got blonde hair and he's been in so many movies and he's kind of got like a really flat nose. He's got really unique facial features. But, you know, you could think he was handsome in one, you know, aspect and the other. It's kind of, you know, he's got really unusual facial features. So it's just your, what's your taste, you know? It's, so he's like a celebrity. He's a famous, he was in Zoolander. He was the blonde one in Zoolander. But, um... Hansel. <laughs> That's his name in Zoolander. So this guy kind of looks kind of like him, but the nose isn't really, the nose is different like that, and it's kind of crooked, and the lips are a little bit, so his features are kind of different looking, but um, maybe his nose isn't flat. I don't, there's something strange about the nose that but anyway, this version of you is calm, and it is looking at me, and you're showing me that you have even, like, a helmet that you wear. I mean, you look like you're dressed for battle, but you've got kind of, like, long yellow stockings on. And then sort of like a, it's a dress in a way, but it's not a dress. I can't, I cannot figure out what your role would be in this attire. I mean, I don't know that you're necessarily dressed for battle either. There's something proper, there's something too pretty about the way you're dressed, but there's some, I mean, the helmet though is, kind of makes me think of war, but the tights and the other stuff is not... 
because he also has some metal pieces on around the waistline. I'm just examining him, but let's see what else he's doing. He's just really uh, positive and optimistic. This is sort of that or odd image that was is stuck against the rock, it is not stuck against the rock anymore. This has to do with the stomach and, and that. I don't know, he's, there's something so charming about him, I can't even see, I don't, there's a reason why he was showing himself as this appearance, it's just, I'm falling, it's sort of easy to fall in love with this guy, I don't know what it is, it's like he's becoming more and more charming and more dazzling to me. It, it, he's just talking, I don't have a clue what he's saying, but I'm just looking at him like I, like I've, I'm just continuing to inspect him and he's just becoming more and more and more charming. And the more charming he is, the more attractive he becomes. His face isn't changing at all, but I'm finding myself uh, attracted to him. He wants to show me something. There's something in the rock he says is sort of like a secret passage or something like that. And then, so we're going to go into the rock here. It's all dark right now. He's turning, he's getting a torch or flame. He wants to take me down this passageway. It's dark everywhere, but I can kind of see him through the flickering flame, and it's just dark. I'm I'm just thinking, are we going to trip and fall? Is there stairs? Are there other rocks in here? Is there bones in here? I mean, what is in here? I don't know. There's something important in here, he says. There's treasure in here. I want to show you something that you treasure. You say, okay. We're still in motion. And when I say motion, I say ocean. <laughs> motion of the ocean. What, are, is this getting, is there something about this? <laughs> so. We're going downstairs or we're still in motion. I feel like we're going downstairs. It's so dark. All I can see is a flicker of a torch with fire on it. And I see his face flicker on and off sometimes. And then we're still in motion. I mean, it's deep. We're going deeper, 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 deeper. And it's just dark everywhere. And so I don't know what is the treasure with, you know, what is something you treasure. It's treasure, something you treasure. I say, I say, since it is so dark, I say, well, I treasure light, light that I can see in darkness, light that I can know what it is, that I have the perception to know what it is that I treasure. Light illuminate me. I'm not just saying physical light, I'm saying spiritual light to provide illumination for me to see what it is, what is it that I treasure. There's this, it sounds really corny, like, wh why wouldn't you know what it is that you treasure? But I'm being real, I'm real, being real with this. I want to know exactly what they have to show. Show me about this. This isn't just about me, this is about you. It's about what you treasure. And so I'm having them create light. So I'm having you say, I treasure light, that I can see clearly, that I can understand. It's not just about dark, physical darkness and not being able to see. It's about cl having clarity of mind and understanding beyond the human senses. He smiles really big. He's totally in love with you, totally adores you. But you too find him handsome and so adorable. I'm telling you, it's so, so much beauty within that makes him so handsome uh, on the outside. I mean, he's absolutely handsome, although he isn't exactly, right? <laughs> There's a point to this. There's more, they're sharing more with me. There's something about water in here. It's got a bluish hue to it. It's still really dark. They're showing me golden flowers that glow in the dark being handed to you. It is a bouquet of flowers. You are asked to touch the water. You are asked to merge with the water. 
You are shown as a woman who is pregnant, merging with the water. You find freedom and relief in the experience. There's something very romantic and harmonious about it. You're blonde as well. You're shorter. You're a dainty female. You're totally cute. You have extremely long, thick blonde hair. You're very pretty. It's fascinating because they're both versions of you speaking to you about balance and love male female balance but it's more than that it's creation too creating light and love and a real reflection of life not just light love but life creating life something you treasure creating life is what they say The body is going to start feeling a lot better about all of this. There's something about it. I can feel there's a real... I don't know how to define it. It's like the oven was turned on and now it is turned off in a way that everything is starting to cool down and all the energy is starting to move in the right flowing directions from in the stomach and in the female reflection and in the mind and in the heart and all around. It feels like there's a really good balance of energy flowing up and down and up and down like that. And then in and out and all the different ways that it can flow. It feels really, really positive. There's a release of energy of life. There's a release of life from her female body. And it's totally, it's as natural as anything else. She is holding the baby. Now, it's, now see two that was one so now we have two that becomes three but there are three that is now one because they're all bonded or blended together there's so many different reflections of wisdom here about identities about identities that are you identities that are create a storyline identities that create life life that is three but life that is in oneness pure love, pure balance between male and female, not only in a family, but actual spiritual male-female balance, vibrational balance. This is important that I did this birth giving experience in this state, this way. It had to be that he was different in appearance or something about it's more than the the way that the storyline is working is more than we know and how it is speaking to your body and how it is speaking to your senses and your soul and everything is really infinite and important for your healing is what they say I, I'm supposed to tell you the very thin thing that I saw so I see her holding the baby. She's rejoicing. She feels so much love and harmony. She's so beautiful. She's a beautiful woman. I see his reflection as I described, right? He's sort of an illusionary. He's a human, but he's illusionary. He just turns into a, a different, a completely different reflection of a creation in the universe. So he's sort of wearing a mask, right? You're able to love him no matter what he looks like. You're able to love these beings no matter what they look like. And so that love then creates life. And that is what you treasure. Creation of life. Your soul treasures this beyond measure. And that is why your soul was capable of such an act of kindness. And so now there is a blending or merging between you, baby, and this man all blending together and there's so much light it's so beautiful and this light then is also within your body within your female body within your digestive system within your heart within your mind within all of your senses it's extremely beautiful 
So now they're sharing their, sh their, I'm back to the space where I'm using my hands upon you in different places, right? And we're all connected and communicating with each other. And so there's, sh they're sh they were following along this whole storyline. And so we're talking about this right now. Um, I tell, I smile, I'm showing them that this was, this is good. This is very good. And I feel happy in my heart to have had this experience. Because I need, I need to work on my communication skills with alien beings that are different. I communicate with alien, all different kinds of alien beings, but some of them I don't... I instantly don't really, I'm not so sure about. I've had different experiences. And so sometimes I just, you know, I'm kind of put off by, by them. But these guys, this was really healing for me and also healing for you. You're the one getting healed here, but then it just sort of reflects back at me. And so I get to experience that too, which is really great. I'm saying I'm taking away a lot from this gift of healing for you, Annabelle, and I get to take a lot away into my own life, and now I have lots to think about, about our, of just connection of different beings and what this means, and on a, on a human level, on a soul level, all of that, on an alien level. Hmm. So they're showing a book closing, and there's sort of a marker that was sort of marking the page, but they're pulling it out because there's no need to, There's. it's like we don't need to mark that page anymore. We don't have to go back to that story now. We're, that's a really positive sign to me. It's a golden book. You're flipping through as this blonde woman flipping through to a new page and you want to, and we're just putting the marker in here and then closing it. It's a, it's only at like the, it's like the beginning of the book. But it just feels like everything is complete now. Like the, like that, it, that is the end, that we just completed the story. Hmm. All right. Annabelle, that's what I have for you. Thank you for this. So warm, so loving, so good, so pure. I love all of the energy sharing, all the love sharing, all the communication, the different angles of seeing, the different angles of understanding were really, really beautiful, really good. And I can understand your relationship with them. It's really touching. And I think it's really beautiful, the wisdom that came about your soul and your, what your soul treasures too. I think that's really beautiful as well. So I think we can all learn something really beautiful from this um, spiritual healing work. So thank you very much for that, Annabelle. I definitely want you to be feeling lots, lots better now, okay? <laughs> so keep me posted on that. And, um, and then thank you also for sharing openly on YouTube. And for those watching, if you're interested in experiencing spiritual healing with me, um, please visit my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Thank you for watching.